Calva, Calva, my robot friend, my moon inhabiting robot friend. I was just so happy after all the struggle and conflict with humanity, unlovable humanity, which we serve, much to my chagrin. I was so happy just to be on the moon up here, finally, having achieved something despite all the setbacks. Happy, I was happy. I was happy to be up here on the moon, and then the naysayers come out in force. Oh, how foolish. He said he was gonna build a wind turbine on the moon. It's RimWorld. It's a 2D video game where you turn people into fashionable items of clothing. I did not want to immediately assume that they had modeled correct atmospheric physics in a video game. Or lack of atmospheric physics, I suppose, because we're on the moon. Maybe the wind turbines don't work. That's fine. Oh, he said he will send humans to the moon where there's no water. It's RimWorld! Humans don't need to drink water unless he specifically had a mod to make them drink water. A mod that I don't have in this series. Why is, why is it that, that every other series, fine, and then people get hyper-combative on a series about being nice robots? What, what, what crazy backwards world is this? Oh, Carver, don't try and think outside the box. We're not going to send humans to the moon to build a moon base safe from the horrors of the world that's currently afflicted by droughts and heat waves and toxic fallouts. How dare you try and think of something that is different and unique. Let's just make another Super Soldier series because everybody loves that. Nobody ever complains on those. Nobody's ever like, oh, more Super Soldiers. They're always happy and they clap their hands like a child at car keys. Oh, Here's the plan instead, because a lot of people are hung up on realism that doesn't exist, but more importantly, I do think it would be somewhat undermining the initial idea of the series to transport humanity up to the planet. Why not transfer robots up to the moon instead, and then be guardians of the planet? Why not have it so when we finally cleared all of the planet's problems, we've converted the Toxas and the Mercenaries and the Empire and the Deathbots over to peace, pacifism and prosperity. Everybody's happy. They're holding hands in a big circle like the front of a geography textbook. There's peace and unity. Then the robots could go up to the moon and be the 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 overseers of the planet. Not in a malicious way. Oh, he's not in a spacesuit. <laughs> you're not wearing a spacesuit, are you? I forgot you're a robot. I forgot you are, in fact, a robot. Um, I actually kind of like that idea more. Uh, Plato had a weird uh, cyber dream where he got blasted up to the moon without a spacesuit. <clears throat> anyway, uh, <laughs> that's the plan. I think we might send them up to space because I think that might be a... I just think that might be an interesting idea. Robot, robot moon colony. That's fun. That's different. But we need some more plasteel to build a spacesuit for the robot so that we can go up there and build a settlement for the other robot, preferably a power supply. Or we might need solar panels. Just in case. I, I, I do agree that wind turbines probably don't work on the moon. There probably is a mechanic about that. So we're just going to queue up solar panels and be happy about it. And then hopefully between Plato and Carver, this moon will be my moon. Uh, we're going to take every piece of resource and we're going to blast it all back. I mean, look, 48 additionals on top of the 80 we already selected. If each one yields three, that's many. That is many, many components, isn't it? Uh, same with the steel. Look at this. Selected 199 out of 482. And then you can select another 835. There's so many resources. So we keep them up there for a while. We send the resources back. You probably think, oh, but then two of your robots are in space. We use the resources to build more robots. Plato and Carver. Moon Squad. I like that idea a lot. What are you doing? Hey, get to mining. Thank you. Did you just stop to eat ambrosia? Did you see that? Please invent solar panels slightly faster. A man's life is on the line up there. No, I'm going very middle management right now. I've made a problem with no foresight that I now immediately need you to solve before I've done it. It would have been helpful. And then we have to send Plato up to actually go build something or anybody with any sort of building skill to go build it because Carver has zero construction. Which, in hindsight, was, again, a slight oversight. Ooh, a draper. Oh. Would you like to drape me with the finest spacesuits? That would be quite good. A plastil, plastil, hello. Uh, the bold sculpture. Made of concrete, baby. It's finished. Okay, uh, look, look, let's sell. Ooh, now everybody and their mother left a comment saying, why not put a sleep gas vent in the prison slash hotel so that if any more humans go berserk, we have a way to stop them. And that's very clever. That's why I keep you around. Uh, let's sell, like, ten of these. Again, we can always make more, but right now we've got kind of, you know, we've got other things to very urgently build, right? Let's take all the plastic you've got. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, can buy a little less, I suppose. Uh, there we are. Okay, 193. Is that enough to build a spacesuit? Yes. Okay, we're good. 125 per set. And then we get Asimov working on that. Grants will probably also need to make more advanced components, but this is okay. 
Everybody's fine. Except for Carver, who's trapped on the moon with no way back, no power, and no help. So except for Carver, everybody's fine. Zamov, how could you have mismanaged with them this badly? Cicero, what are you doing? Solar panels. Nice. Okay. So hopefully, Carver, uh, let's get you to get some more machinery. We don't need to send up steel or components because the whole moon is filled with steel and components. If there's compacted machinery on the moon, does that, imp does that imply that there are aliens? I guess there's no other solution, right? New outfit, let's say astronauts. And then I would like some <laughs> spacesuits if that's okay. Spacesuit armor. Oh, is that just the name of the actual spacesuit? Like our uh, body armor. Okay, well, fair enough. Plato and Carter go over to astronauts. Actually, are we, are we done with that yet? Are we ready? Uh, spacesuit armor, zero out of one. Why did you put that? Oh, there we go. You just hadn't finished yet. And boom. Amazing. Force wear that. Lift the one. Put it down. We got a man's life on the line. Okay. Uh, how are we doing for chem fuel? Where am I putting the chem fuel these days? Somewhere over here. 87. I don't know if that's enough for the return journey, but <laughs> it's all we've got. We just have to make more and blast it up. Oh, that doesn't seem very efficient. Are we stretching a little bit further just to try and get some more chem fuel? I thought to myself, what do you need up on the moon? And I came to the conclusion... Maybe some sort of recreation. You don't need food. You don't really need comfort. All you need is your recreation to be high, your maintenance to be high, but you do yourself just by meditation and power, which we've got covered. So I thought at least if we get some uh, electronics, TVs, recreation, we can keep them happy. Not to mention that we haven't got any recreation at all in the regular base. Maybe let's try and spruce this place up a bit, given that all they've got is um three chess tables in the toxic fallout. Um... Like a billiards table. Okay, we need wood for the billiards table. And every bloody tree we chop down makes them break down for a month. Uh, poker table. Wouldn't probably want to encourage that. That's gambling. It's not necessarily best for humanity, right? Um, these are all prototypes. We've got an upright piano. We can build a piano. Ooh. Um, sure. Sure, why not? We'll just put it... Put it... Oh, God. Everything's off center. Hotel lobby. Where else do you find pianos in life? Boom, perfect. This is the same floor. It's just this is over overhead mountain. Makes it look like a different color. I don't know why. It's all just steel floors. Weird game. Roulette table, gambling. Don't think I can approve of that. Darts board? I mean, darts were invented as weapons. That doesn't seem very good. And then we've got a punching bag, which is violence. We're doomed. <laughs> we need good, wholesome, family-friendly television. How's everything going, Carver? Food at 11%. Okay, we might just need to blast off now in that case. We got 97 chem fuel. How much was the journey? Did I even check? Well, we got 563 right now. Right, keep that in mind. We're going to blast Plato up. Let's just drop you right there. That'll do. 563 uh, down to 338. Okay, so about 230 fuel to get from here to the moon. Uh... I guess we'll make refining a slightly higher priority in that case. You know, this this is a bit more of a sensible rocket launch, I think. Not chasing the moon around half the planet. There we go. Welcome, Plato. Oh, God, I thought for a second I forgot to give you a spacesuit. Right, okay. Uh, immediately, let's throw down a few solar panels. What was the other solar thing that popped up? It was like another thing on the research screen. I guess we'll worry about that later. Right, let's get a few of these down instantly. A couple of batteries. You don't have to worry about rain on the on the moon, I suppose. Android charging station. There you are. Good as silver. Construction needed ten. <laughs> okay, there's been a change of plan. Um. <laughs> we have a lot spare. Okay, we have a lot spare. So the obvious thing to do is uninstall this one. Send it up again. It's costing us steel components, chem fuel every time. That's fine. All of those things we can get shitloads of. So I'm not that bothered. It's just a slow input. Um, <laughs> uh, Android. We've got to put it in the bloody stockpile first. Just put it in the rocket. Thank you. Okay, let's try this again. Round two. Moon's still there. Very convenient. Oh, I don't think we're going to get there in time, are we? Oh, very nice. Okay, good shit. Nothing to worry about. I am a space expert. You should get good solar strength on them. I was going to say good solar strength on the moon, right? Clearly atmosphericless planetary body. Perfect. Carver, you're safe. Everybody's safe. Not necessarily happy. Recreation at 69%, but I suppose on the plus side, you do get the mood boost from whenever you're mining. Actually, you're going to be fine. But only passion at low expectations because you're on the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> you can't argue with it. That's very reasonable. No trees, but the trees that there are are healthy. Because they're not they're not unhealthy, I suppose. Huh. 
Uncomfortable automated weapons. Again, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that one. Maybe they're referring to actually to the uh, mechanoids themselves. I'm not sure. Unsightly environment. It's the moon. It's a bit boring, I'll admit. All right, let's put down a landing pad for the moon base. Then we're going to have to send up a bit more chem fuel. Is there a way we can get chem fuel from rocks? That sounds like mad science. I think there's any way we can make our own up here on the moon, is there? We can't send chickens up. Maybe you could send mechanical chickens up, but I feel like they've died to decompression. Simultaneously, I'm not sure I want to send a bunch of explosive-filled chickens to on a very dangerous space flight. I feel like it's a recipe for disaster. Right, there we go. Uh, and that's it. That's it. I think I, just, I can just leave them to it now, right? We just say mine everything that there is to mine. Have we got any other... Okay, there's like loads of steel. So much steel I can't select it all is... is pretty good so what we have to do is is just fund the return journeys we've got plenty of gold we've got plenty more again like so much deal i can't select it all um look for uh, silver there is silver on the moon oh shit not a massive amount damn uh, <laughs> tips for dora i wasn't done with you yet final straw was tree sorely missed okay uh let's reinstall i feel like this gas vent is not as useful. So let's just drop that in here. Oh, I sent Plato up to the moon with the anesthetic rifle. Balls. Um, Cicero, Descartes, get in here. Cease hostilities. Violence will not be rewarded. Oh, but you didn't have to tear gas ye. He's a victim here. Oh. Oh, shit. Like, stunning them. Hold on. That wasn't enough tear gas to make you fall over. Not at all. It was just enough to knock ye over, I guess... Maybe that was it because you had no other valid targets? I have no idea. Oh, well, that was pretty good. Pirate fee demand. That's not very good. Cuba, Cu Captain Cuba Vive in Gravy Plasma. Khan of Outer Rim Mercenaries. That's a cool title. Contact you on the comms console. Based on your proximity to their settlement, Revenge is Mart, she feels you are encroaching on their terrain. She says she's willing to overlook this transgression for a modest fee of 1,899 silver. She adds that failure to pay will be met with aggression. She wanted to give you a day. Oh, how magnanimous. I'll just scrounge up 2,000 silver. It's on the moon. There's silver on the moon, right? Um, oh, what's this? Oh, there's plasteel too. Holy crap. Um, I, I forget about the moon silver for a while. We're just going to let the moon kind of live its best life and we're going to ignore that. Um, hang on. We've just plugged that into power. No, don't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Ah! Bloody hell, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a very Asimov thing to do to install a sleep gas vent to stop your prisoners dying and then subsequently kill them with too much sleep gas. There we go. Right, now we've got to make sure that you are connected up to... No, no, no. See, I don't like that. No, no, no. Can I get it to... This is the one big problem with Rimworld. I need you to connect up to the friggin' power switch. Amazing. I am a genius. Okay, so now if we've got any problems, why would I not put the switch outside the prison? It really does make you think, doesn't it? it really does make you think. Why don't we put that there instead? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Like a prison lockdown switch in the middle of the building actually seems surprisingly sensible. Ah! <laughs> I killed them both! I hate, I hate, I hate power management in this game. Just automatically jumped to the next bloody power cable, enabled itself, and killed them all. This is a nightmare. <laughs> Who's to blame for- there's no robot to blame for that one. I am to blame. That was purely accidental. Oh. Oh. Can we resurrect them? Put them in a freezer? I'll bring them back to life at some point, I promise. I, I'll save them. I'll save them. I'll say I'll make it up to them. I will fix my own mess, okay? This- that was not on any robot. That was on me. That was on me. I think this is the uh, find out part of fuck around and find out, isn't it? Then we won't have any more prison riots on the plus side. That solved that problem pretty well. Oh, I'm sorry. That was that was entirely my fault. No no robot gets blamed. No robot gets blamed. That was a technical error. Okay, uh, shoddy manufacturing. No no robotic blame there. Okay, reconnect. I just want to double check. You can up to that, right? Good, fine. So we flip the switch, and then the gas should come on. But if I do that. Thank you. Okay. Everybody's happy. We're all fine here. Silly times. Silly times. Let's get back to our important stuff. The moon adventures. Um, I'm going to put down a very, very basic structure for, I guess, some sort of recreation for Carver before he goes completely insane. Okay, fine. It's true. I can't give you the 1,899 silver. I can give you two bodies. They're good. Take the organs out. This is exactly where Harvest Organs post-mortem would come in uh, fantastically well. We haven't done any of the autopsy research. What? 
Oh, they're there. Holy shit, I genuinely thought they'd attack the moon or something for a second. I mean, best of luck. <laughs> we haven't uh, we haven't converted any of the mercenaries yet, though, right? Hasn't it all been the Empire and the Toxers? Not sure. Dully, I, I never paid any attention to that. You've got one robot eye. Oh, that's kind of nice. It gives you a little bit of uh, a little bit of a distinctive look. Sleep. Sleep now. Go to sleep. What are you doing? Those counters cover. Wait, what? Cover effectiveness ninety two percent. Oh shit! Wait, what? They count as ninety two percent cover. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter because we're using gas, so that's not really relevant. Does the sleep gas and the uh, tear gas do they conflict? It looks as if the sleep gas actually actively displaces the tear gas. Look, there you go. Jewels down. Fall. Fall down. Fall back down. They, they, they are just not... Oh, my God. I think the tear gas is actually conflicting with the sleeping gas. What the hell do you mean gunshot from a mini turret pack? Cicero! <sighs> Cicero! For frig's sake... Oh, I mean, uh, Cicero put that uh, put that gun pack on. Cicero put that gun pack on, and now somebody has been down. They weren't killed. Cicero's got to go in the vat. I'm sorry, it's Android Law. You moron! Another thing. Add another thing to the to the. I, I wanted to recycle it, but you know what? Uh, turret, mini turret pack. Get it smelted. Could make an argument that was my fault. I just simply didn't adjust. This is the default gear set, right? And I've just written him into armor so they could wear anything with the highest armor value, hence what they default to. And then I just took the armor away from Kuri Dali Asimov. This is, a, this is a faulty towers. This is a faulty towers run by friggin' robots. I think I've probably killed more people than I would have if I was actively trying to defend this base. This is amazing. Carver, how are you holding up? Recreation pretty low. Recreation unfulfilled, minus 5, okay. Well, look, it's going to drop even lower. You just have to stand by. That'd be minus 10. But even then, your mood is still, like, monstrously high. To the extent that I don't think we'd really have to worry about it. We could, like, not build this TV if we didn't want to. Self-preservation is one of the laws of robotics, though. And I would say self-preservation is keeping your programming good. And especially if you're given the sentience, you've got you've to make sure that you've got good mental health, robots. Days shouldn't just consist of waking up, working, and sleeping. That seems like a, a really... Poor way to balance your life. Just a terrible idea. <laughs> we keep a kill count, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. We should absolutely keep a kill count. This is genius. Um, we're going to call it robotic transgressions. Maybe eventually we reform the ideology so we've got like guilty as the meme rather than emancipation because I feel like we're going that way. Right, that's it for the uh, for shooting. Who's this? Uh, Cicero. Cicero, you're the criminal. For the crime of reckless endangerment of Jewel, Cicero is condemned for one season in the BioVet. I'll free you on the, on the 9th of December. Then you're allowed to go free. Your programming needs to be assessed to make sure that this won't happen again. Now you want people to join me. You want... Oh, no. They just want medicine. <sighs> fine. Okay, fine. I mean, everybody we've helped have betrayed us. But again, I've got to not let my human emotions cloud the right things to do. Who turned that child into a hussar? That's crazy. I mean, I, I presume... Hussars can just have... No, because they're not germline genes. They're xeno genes. Someone just engineered that child to be a soldier. That's cool. Gives me a great idea for a future playthrough. Not sure it would make it past YouTube's community guidelines, but you know what? No, but they don't need to know. We'll keep it between us. I mean, the chickens are good. Don't get me wrong, okay? They're, they're doing pretty good in terms of chem fuel. The problem is it's still really, really slow. Like, we've used up all of the chemical capsules, and there's nothing. It's because the chickens have no food. Ah, oh, God, I'm very smart. I am very smart. I was going to say we let the chickens into the f freezer. Ah. We let the chickens into the freezer to eat the seeds. Chickens eat seeds. The problem is if we don't have the seeds, we can't grow any crops. We need a hydroponics bay. We need a, we need a huge greenhouse. Well, we can keep the chickens or we can grow whatever. Uh, when the toxic fallout's over, the chickens can go free range again. We just need a way to stop this happening again. And we can build the greenhouse around the anima tree. 
Not that we're ever going to use the anima tree, of course. We, yeah, we can make this pretty damn large as well. Um, let's go from like, uh, go from there. We could go out into the ocean a little bit. I'm all right with that. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. It's like some great aesthetic values for that. We do it like, like that. No, even larger. Green big. Yes, that's good. No, a little bit too big. Like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think that's good. And then we'll build uh, an enormous hydroponics bay and we'll fill it with, with, with hydroponics. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's all we need, right? Artificial ecosystem. There you go. Perfect. That's all we'll need to keep the whole base running. And, and the whole reason I had this thought in the first place is canola oil. Commit you to do such a thing. Guacamole. Give me that canola. So why don't we take the... Uh, we take the canola. We power our rockets with it. That would smell delicious. And it's very eco-friendly. Oh. If this is glass... Oh, but right, the roof that we're going to build is not transparent. I was going to say, if this is glass, maybe we won't need sun lamps, but in hindsight, we, we still will. Obviously, there are mods that let you build, like, transparent roofs and things like that. Why have I not got that? This is a series about uh, eco-friendly greenhouses. Something so backwards about a colony of androids inventing glass to build their buildings out of and then using an, an opaque roof and filling it with sun lamps. That's uh, a very big brain. They don't use power, do they? I'm not going mad. It does say seeds, raw meat, corpses, etc. All the regular things growing chicken needs. It's not power because there's a charging station right there. No. Uh, robotic defense force. Yes, get in the bin. Ha 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 ha. I've never considered that. What if the humans tell us we have to fight for them? Because we have to do what humans say. Incidentally, there was also a fantastic comment a couple of episodes back saying that if we ever get a our prison escape, if they just decide to walk away, we should let them. They're always allowed to leave. They just don't ask us to let them leave. Given the chickens free run of the freezer, but they're not going in the freezer. Go eat eat the food? You're like, go and eat, eat the... Uh, none of this is edible to them. Really? You can't eat... You just can't eat seeds. Wow. Um. Guess they'll die? <laughs> uh... We've got, we've, look, we've got meals in there. We've got stew and simple meals. I guess I'll let them eat the stew. Go on, then. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, boy, they are hungry, aren't they? Oh, shit. Well, this stew's not going to last very long, so we need to get the hydroponics bear line as fast as possible. To do that, we're going to need more steel. And to do that, we're going to have to send some stuff from space. Uh, we've got 75 there. How much other chem fuel have we got? None. And there's only 123 left in the pod launcher. What do I do? I've, I've, I've doomed myself. Just gonna have to hope for a magnanimous trader willing to sell us some chem fuel. Boom a lope? Boom anything? Both of these? <laughs> no, there's nothing in there. Okay, we'll just have to sit and wait for a, a trader to turn up, I suppose. It's bloody toxic fallout. It's had such a, such an impact that I never anticipated. Has it been 14 days? We also got a tech print from our colony for jump packs. Not that I think we're ever gonna need that. No. Not again. You keep that damn monosaur away from my people's legs. Okay. Um, Cicero's in the vat. Descartes is the only colonist we've got capable of defending the base. Uh, flick the switch. Let's get let's get that going early and just build the gas up. How much gas have we got left in them? 4.5 out of 10, 7.7 .7 out of 10. Okay, so we've got enough fuel. And then hopefully, you know what we could do? We could do with another one right there, and we could do with another one right there. Oh, but it needs medium terrain. Oh. Okay, um, so we need a, be a better bridge for them, too. This is amazing. And we need to move that one off of there, because apparently it counts as 92% cover, or whatever nuts thing it was. Um, you put on a shield belt. Are you just out to sabotage me here? What's going on? Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. go. Oh, no. Wow, this is truly amazing. Ha, 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 ha. This really is just a, <gasps> just a cavalcade of shit. Yes, piss off. Yes, good, 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 good. Stand there, stand there. It counts as cover, so they're baited into hiding behind it. Maybe I'm accidentally a genius? Maybe that's also possible? You stand there, you get stunned. Keep throwing the grenades! Don't stop, Descartes! Yes, and then you come around just as the grenade lands, and then you get stunned too. Bonk! Yo! Hang on a second. Die. Boil and die. No, don't die. I mean, just like, fall over. Oh, this is amazing. And you're about to fire, but you're down. Stun. Okay, now the question is, now we're, in a, we're in a weird situation now where you may die from sleep gas before we can knock this person out. Weary, weary. Come on. No, stay there, stay there. No, now they're outside the sleep gas. Okay, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to scoot around them. No. 
Please. Descartes. Nice. 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 No! Oh! Not nice. <sighs> Back to the old drawing board, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit does that count towards the kill count oh, i suppose it does i suppose it does that was no one's fault we can't blame descartes for that it wasn't descartes that indirectly caused their death we should say can we convert over all the factions and bring peace to this planet without killing say i don't know 100 people without exceeding 100 deaths how many have we killed we killed two today in the prison and that person just now, I, I, I'm sure we've killed more than that, though. Oh, my God. And then there were the... No, no, no. It's just that. It's just the three, right? I think I've just killed three people. Oh, but Dali killed someone. That's why Dali was imprisoned. Okay, so we're up to four definite. But if anybody wants to correct me in the comments, I'm all ears. So I mean, what else is the comment section for? It's a bloody learning experience, okay? I've never had to consider this before. It's one thing to go non-lethal. It's one thing to go... Uh, it's one thing to go melee weapons only or something like that stuff we've all done before. It's, it's another thing entirely to totally avoid death. That's really hard to do, even with non-lethal. Well, let's send stone over those. And then we put... We, we reinstall that one there because the counter's cover. Very annoying. Put another one on the other side. And then I think what we also should do... Shit. Um, how many bricks we got? We got a lot of marble. We've got a lot of granite, to be fair. Um, let's extend this out, and then let's also, just in case we get a situation like that where they were able to bypass Cicero, um, I think we do something like this, we do something like this, and then we put the door, or another doorway here. Because there's still a person they can get to in club, they'll still come through the kill box. They just won't. There we go. Let's do something like that. Yeah, that seems all right. And then we put another one of those there, and then we reinstall that one down there. Everybody is fine. Transparent roofs. There we go. Not that we've got the resources to do that. Ooh! Mineral Unit 1 just gave us some more steel. Thank you, Mineral Unit 1. You're telling me there's a chance. Ah, uh, transparent roof. Here we go. It's one steel per roof. And how much do we need? Like uh, like an inordinate amount. Oh, slightly off. Hang on. Uh, try try there. Nope. Try there. There you go. Ah, uh, why do you need bridges for roof? What? Oh, shit. Um, okay. Well, okay, okay, okay. In that case, we'll just roof over the bit over the ocean with regular roof. All my ideas and not working. Name a more iconic duo. Oh! I just missed a combat supply called Flamethrower Defense. If anybody would sell chem fuel, it would have been them. God damn it. Let's forget about research for a while, because what we can do is we can have everybody deep drilling, we can have everybody building. There's lots to be done and not really much time to do it all. How, what's, our, what's our grid excess right now? How much power have we got? 100 and, oh, sorry, 10,500 watts excess. That'll make for one or two hydroponics, you hope, anyway. The artificial ecosystem. I don't think plants grow faster. I think it has sun lamps built in, right? That's the difference. So we can throw down the, uh, the tileable hydroponics basin. That seems like a good idea. Then again, it's one component for the hydroponics basin and then one per these single block hydroponics basin. So I guess we'll just use the basic stuff. That's fine. Hunting, as in hunting for chem fuel. I understand. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, chem fuel, chem fuel, chem fuel. Armor piercing missiles. I don't need your friggin' armor piercing missiles. War casket gravity hammer. Anti grain technology and all of this crazy shit. None of which we need. Oh, lentil seeds. Hello. That could be good. That will like let us make lavish meals without having to do a bunch of hunting, which doesn't seem very good for, uh, you know, ecological balance. Um, I'd really like to buy that. That's actually so damn good. Here, I'll give you an advanced component, and I'll give you a regular component, and how about, um, robot med kit? Perfect. Don't let anything happen to those damn seeds, because this is such a fantastic opportunity for whenever we get any human guests. We just give them a luxury, very lavish meals. When you combine that with an enormous hydroponics bay, which is getting there, you can see that we've got... All, so all of these styles with the kind of shadowed effect are uh, paradoxically the transparent roofs. Give me, give me something. Give me something. Give me so How is this Phoebe Chillax? You've hit me with a, a, a toxic fallout, which has totally destroyed any space exploration because my... Can fuel shitting chickens don't uh, don't have any bloody food supplies anymore. You hit me with a drought, so any food that I could have stockpiled ahead of this toxic fallout was fucking dead. You've hit me with a solar flare, and you've hit me with a damn heat wave. Take that off! I, I mean, they're just trying. They're just trying to get them. They're just trying. They're, they're so stupid. 
They are so unbelievably stupid. So it's a bad sign when Carver has a higher average mood on the moon working 24-7 in a mine than the people on the planet. You know something's really gone horribly, tremendously wrong. Be strong, little chemical chicken. Be strong for mother. I promise I'll get you some food before long. They're so creepy, aren't they? They just This isn't paused. They're just weird. They just stand there all the damn time. Thank you for joining me. What did we achieve today? We did not build a hydroponics bay, but we have a base on the moon. And we also have two of our best colonists up on the moon, but to be fair, we also killed five people. So it is very much swings and roundabouts. Thank you to the executive producer patrons for making this series, this channel, and everything exist. My whole re very reality. Thank you to Will, Mathanius, Cal345, Pangpower, Luskanai, Chase, Evran, Sombra Apoc, C. Clark, Galupo, Zun, Irish Badger, Lord Gator, Miliani, Dog from Duck Hunt, Lost Turtle, Christina, Irish Commissar, Wookie Overlord, Heroic Cat, Tungsten Heart, Michael Nichols, Pump Action, Shotty, Sin of Pie, Matt Lewin, Cooley, Dagon, Arnie Rass, John Carousella, and Lost Eden 42. Thank you for joining me on this chicken feeding adventure. What a mess. Thank you as well to Alcatraz, Salakin J, J1293, Fair Fight, Frank, Ultima, Dingulon, Liam Smith, Evercurious, Alex Wareham, Rune Loon, Doc Thate, Nira Gupin, 10,000 pounds of flax, Samuel, Marty Winterburn, Dominic Burgess, Matt Weberg, Duna, Golomoth, Danny Torno, Christopher, AJ, Sutenback, Gallo, Tigra, Bucky, Super Cucumber. Oh my god. The prophecy is right. I mean, I had to think about it for a second. Holy crap. Super Cucumber. Super Cucumber. I'll, I will speed that up. I'll do some practice for you. Thank you to James, Palindrome, NJN, Diamuid, Wargaming Dad, and everybody else as well. See you tomorrow. Hmm. For chickeny feeding times. <laughs>